Recrystallization. Recrystallization is a technique used to purify chemicals. In this experiment, we are going to use recrystallization on an impure sample of solid benzoic acid. The chemicals required are impure benzoic acid, decolorizing charcoal, distilled water, and ice. The apparatus needed are 250 ml beaker, 250 ml conical flasks, 10 ml measuring cylinder, a funnel, filter paper, glass rod, spatula, boiling chips, Hirsch funnel, sidearm filter, and accessories for vacuum filtration, watch glass, capillary tube, hot plate, and a melting point apparatus. Step one, turn on the hot plate and in a 250ml beaker boil 100ml of distilled water. Using a 10ml measuring cylinder, measure out 10ml of boiling water. Take this water and a boiling chip, add it to a 250ml conical flask and put on the heat to boil. Step three. Measure one gram of impure benzoic acid and record the exact mass in the lab book. Add the one gram of benzoic acid to the 10 mils of boiling water and dissolve by swirling gently. Step four. Once the impure benzoic acid is reasonably dissolved, remove the conical flask from the hot plate. Then add one teaspoon of decolorizing charcoal to the dissolved benzoic acid. Put the Conical flask back on the hot plate, swirling periodically whilst the charcoal slash benzoic acid solution is on the hot plate, prepare the fluted filter paper and funnel to be placed in a second clean conical flask. Wet the filter paper, making sure that there is one to two mil of water now on the bottom of the clean conical flask. Add the now clean conical flask and funnel paper arrangement to the hot plate. Step six, filter the benzoic solution into the second clean and now hot conical flask. This may take a few minutes to filter and if the benzoic acid recrystallizes while filtering, wash with a small amount of boiling water. Once all liquid has passed through the funnel, remove from the heat and turn off the hot plate. Step seven, allow the filtered benzoic solution and flask to cool to room temperature, then put into an ice bath to crystallize. Crystallization is complete when the flask and its contents is cooled to four degrees Celsius, which should take approximately 10 minutes. But check the flask regularly because this time can vary. Step eight, while the solution is crystallizing, weigh and record the weight of the filter paper and the watch glass separately. Then set up the Buchner funnel and filter paper with a sidearm filter flask. Remember to wet the filter paper first. Step 9. Using vacuum filtration method, filter the benzoic solution. To get all crystals out, use some distilled water. Step 10. Once fully filtered, carefully pull the filter paper out of the funnel and place onto the watch glass. Now place the watch glass into the oven at 80 degrees Celsius for up to 10 minutes or until completely dry. Once it's completely dry, weigh the crystals and record in your lab manual. Get a capillary tube and gently tap the crystals on the filter paper until there's a 1 to 2 millimetre benzoic crystal in the end of the tube. Use a melt tip melting point apparatus and record what temp the crystal starts to melt and where all of it is fully melted. Find the middle between these two points and that is the melting point. For this experiment, what you're trying to get as an end result is pure solid benzoic acid. To find if the end result is pure, we compare the literature melting point to the experimental melting point. If they are within a degree of each other, the benzoic acid is presumed to be pure. We can also conclude how much was recovered during the recrystallization process. Using a performer template like on the right, record all the values, then input it into the equation to get a percentage result. 